welcome back. In today's video, I want to tell you about matte medium, which is one of my favorite materials to use with acrylic painting. Before I do that, I just want to say that the whole purpose of all these videos is not to show off my artwork. I know that there are so many great artists out there and I'm not trying to put myself above any of them. My whole goal and the reason that I call my business All Hands Art is to get as many people as possible making art and I want to pull back the curtain, demystify it, make it seem easy, not exclusive. I want everybody to feel like they can participate and so in these videos I'm trying to break it down and just show you the steps and that it's there is magic involved, but the real magic is just getting the materials out and using them. So um, that's the thread that runs through all the videos. So back to the matte medium. One way that I use it, there's so many ways. It can thin out your acrylic paints. It can make them more transparent. I use it sometimes to wipe off things that I don't like the way they look. Today I'm going to show you um, how to use it to add collage elements. I have put a little bit from the big uh, container onto my fancy palette, which is a yogurt container lid. Um, it looks like white paint, but it's going to be clear when it dries. It might be a little bit white when I use it, but it dries clear. Um, you can think of it kind of like Elmer's glue, although it's way, way, way better and longer lasting, more light proof and, and um, high quality. So my friend who I'm doing this painting for asked if I could add some bugs and things like that. So I decided that I'm going to collage some on I have this little picture of an inchworm. I'm going to take a brush, a paintbrush and brush some on the back, covering the whole back of it with the matte medium. And I'm going to stick it on. I'm using it just like glue. Um, I'm also going to put some on the front and so the whole thing is coated front and back and I know that the paper is a different color than the stem and I'll fix that later with paint. I'm gonna, I want to add it on now before I'm close to finishing so that I can blend it into the painting rather than having it look like things glued on at the last minute. So using it um, Again, on something that you're collaging, some kind of paper, you can brush it on the back, put it on, brush it on the front. A lot of times I use my finger to rub it in, especially if it's a bigger piece of paper, because you want to get all those bubbles out and any extra medium that's underneath. So that's just one of many ways that you can use matte medium in an acrylic painting is to collage elements on.